Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video will be a bit different. Um, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to find your own secret bass fishing spots. The other day I did an Instagram story and I said uh, leave a comment on what videos you want me to make and someone said for me to make a video on how to find secret bass fishing spots. So I thought that's a very good idea. So finding a secret fishing spot can be fairly hard because you don't know if other people have fished it before or how good that fishing is going to be um, until you fished it. So hopefully in today's video I'll give you the insights of how do you find that spot. So yeah, as you can see behind me I've got my Australian bass tank. Um, I'll be doing an update on this soon. Barry, who's in the tank, is pretty sick. So if you want to catch some bass like these ones here, I'll put them on the screen right now. Um, these bass were caught in my secret fishing spots, which I have all around my region. Um, I'm in the Northern Rivers uh, in New South Wales, so there's hundreds upon hundreds of streams all through the region that hold plenty of good bass, but sometimes it can be hard to find those creeks and access them because of the bush or they don't have any roads or anything near them. So first thing, you want to open your laptop or your iPhone and you want to go into Google Maps type in Google Maps. So go into that and click the first tab. You've probably done this before, but I'll show you. And so the hard thing is finding the creek, obviously. So bass, as you probably know, have to swim to the ocean or um, estuaries, which is brackish water, so salt and fresh. So you want to try and find a creek that will run into an estuary because otherwise there normally wouldn't be any bass in that creek unless they can get to the salt because they can't get there. So I know that Lismore um, fishes pretty well so I'll put in Lismore, New South Wales and that will take me there and then you want to put it into the satellite, satellite mode down here so click that and just remove this panel here. So. As you can see, this is Lismore and this is the Wilson River. Um, the Wilson River fish is pretty good. There's bass up here, so first thing is you don't want to fish up here. Because if, if you go in this area, this is where um, it would have been hammered by people fishing. Because look at all these houses all here and shops, supermarkets. People would just walk on here fishing. But that's an overfish spot, so you want to go further afield and go as far as way as possible to get um, as many and as big bass as possible. So keep keep chasing the river all the way up as far as you feel like going. But I like going fairly far up, away from the um, away from the crowds. And I like to fish runoff creeks. So runoff is when a creek will um, lead into the main river, or such as this creek here, Cooper's Creek. Um, this looks like it would fish very well. So it's got the Wilson runs up here and comes through here. And Cooper's Creek runs into the Wilson. So I would be going up here and fishing all in this section all the way up along here. So I know that because if you're in, if you're on land base, it looks very good for land based fishing because of the short grass. Um, plenty of structures as, such as overhanging trees, um, mud banks, uh, looks like might be a bit of rock structure there. Um, root heaps are really nice shade. Um, and yeah, so how you'd get there is I would come along Green Gate Road and I would park the car here and just walk straight to the river. And the best fishing. I would imagine would be up this way, so a bit further past the road because people would pull up here and just fish along here and m maybe stop around here, but the most untouched waters would be further afield so you'd have to keep going up here. Um, and also if you're worried about going through private property, you're legally allowed to go 5 metres from the bank, so that's so five meters from the river, so that's probably five meters around there. So you're allowed to fish all here and here, but if you go further afield, such as in here, that's when you're on private property. So this is crown land, so you're allowed to fish in here legally. So 
So yeah, I'll just fish all out here, and that's one of the best ways to find secret spots is using Google Earth. And what lures would you throw, and what time would you go to these spots? So I would be throwing something like a soft plastic or a jig spinner, because that is a very natural presentation to the fish. It's got a nice flashy bl um, blade with a little soft plastic such as a grub or a um, paddle tail. And the bass normally would see that and just see food. They wouldn't think twice that it looks strange or anything. And I'll be casting all under these trees along here. Um, yeah, so all along here, keep going, and some big holes like this will hold big fish. I've caught plenty of really good fish in the 40s in little creeks like this, so never underestimate the size of a creek. The best time to go bass fishing is normally as early in the morning as possible and fish the evenings. So if I was coming here, I would come in here at about 6.30, set up, fish all the way along here, keep going, and maybe fish till maybe like 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening. And the early morning and uh, in the afternoon you can be throwing surface lures such as cicadas and poppers, and that will get the bass firing. Yeah, hopefully that is helpful to you. And just make sure you keep away from private property and angry farmers because they don't want you walking over their land. And... Um, Good luck out there, and I might see you on the water at some time when I'm bass fishing as well. So follow my Instagram pages, I'll be right here on the screen, Eli Clark and Fishing for Days, and Barry the Bass has an Instagram page as well, so you can check that out. And I post pretty regular content on my Instagram. Um, I mostly go bass fishing, which is pretty good. So hopefully enjoy that, and till next time, I'll see you in the next video.